All right. Upper timing KA24 DE, in this case T, explained. Um, the way I have it, you know, this kit actually has the chain marked here, here, and over here. Now, to simplify this, if you have a marked chain, you're going to notice that the length between these two and these two links is the same. But this is a long side. There's actually longer links in the one side. So what I did, what makes sense to me, is I put the uh, yellow one, the odd color out of the three here, down here on the idler sprocket where it should be. Idler sprocket is just off of center. It's about five o'clock or so. Um, and then at the top, I have JWT cam gears. I put the, uh, the dowel right in the notch. Um, I'm not actually 100% sure if that's what you're supposed to do, but I, that's what I did. And then number one is actually where I, it happens to end up. And if you check the links in between here and here, I always start halfway in here, and I don't count the links, I actually count the... Uh, little pins that hold the chains together essentially. And I start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, ending it halfway on this yellow. And if you notice also from here, counting, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, stopping it halfway on here. And that is, coincidentally, where number one on this cam gear is located. So, according to factory service manual and what a lot of people state online, that is the exact number of marks that are supposed to be between there and there. If the cam lobes are off to the side, um, and the dowels are essentially where they should be. Uh, slightly up, you know, 30... 540 degrees maybe up off of level and this is direct 90 for that dowel and uh, another way you can tell with the cams too is the uh, that dowel that's in there lines up with your first cam lobe your first cam, lo cam lobe is actually essentially perfectly lined up with that, that dowel whereas on the exhaust cam for a KA engine it's not see that dowel right, right inside there you follow it up, the cam lobe isn't there. The cam lobe is actually off to the side. And that's where you want it for this. These are actually ver version 3 Crower cams. But that is your upper timing explained. Now it's just a matter of me putting the bolts in there, uh, tightening everything down to uh, factory specs. Maybe a little tighter or looser, I'm not too sure. But uh, I essentially wanted to show you how it looks when it's set up. Um, another thing too, I thought I might mention, when I had to put the chain on, I was actually struggling a little bit with this cam gear to get it in here on these cams. It f went in there pretty simple once I figured out uh, that, you know, I should turn the cam a little bit. Got that uh, dowel pretty much lined 90 degrees straight up and it went on there like nothing. So you might have to adjust it a little bit to get, even get it on there. It was a little bit uh, annoying, but uh, I managed to get it on just by moving the cam slightly. Uh, when you're doing that, be careful not to move it too much because if your engine's at top dead center, which it should be, you want to make sure that your number one and number four uh, cams aren't pushing down. So make sure it's lined up like this. These lobes are off to the side. Otherwise, your valves could go down on your piston, cause damage, whatnot. So besides, I mean, even like good luck getting the cams in there in the first place if. If they're pointing down, like you're gonna, you're gonna be stripping stuff, and something's gonna be wrong. You'll be able to tell early on. But uh, there you have it. That's upper timing explained.